Y'all, I just found the coolest tool. I wasn't planning to film videos today. And if I was gonna film, I had different videos I was gonna film. But I just found the coolest freaking tool that I'd have to share with you. So y'all know I've been on kind of like an editing journey, like trying to figure out my editing style, bringing in new editors, all the things. I talked about VidPros because I've been using them and they're amazing. And the number one question I've been getting asked from my new editing style is like, how we're doing things where I'm in front of the text or I'm in front of an effect or I'm in front of a video or whatever, because cutting yourself out from the background is quite hard. And I knew how to do it manually, but it is a pain in the A double S. And for somebody who talks like this, it's very hard to do because I have to track like every, it, I didn't want to do a tutorial on that, but I found a way. I found a way that's so freaking easy. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Jessica. I'm pumped that you're here. We're talking all things tools, systems, tech for creators and creatives. And uh, if that's something you're into, this is the channel for you. So I use Final Cut Pro and this tool that I'm gonna show you is specifically for Final Cut Pro. And y'all, my mind is freaking blown, literally blown. All right, so you see the effect I'm talking about, right? I've demonstrated it quite a few times in this video. And there are so many use cases for wanting to separate yourself from the background, to have text going behind you, to have like effects going behind you, sometimes even to like make adjustments to you and not the entire video. Like there are so many use cases for isolating yourself from the background. And in Photoshop, in Canva, all of these things are pretty easy. And honestly, there's a lot of video tools on the market to allow you to be able to do this with AI and things like that, that are on the more like user friendly, um, super simple to use, super simple video editing arena. So things like Descript have had this built in for a while. I do find that I can't edit an entire video in Descript. I actually think it's harder than just doing in Final Cut Pro, but that's because I come from like using a more advanced editing system. So, but Descript will remove your background for you, allow you to do some things like that. Again, I think it's a little wonky, but it'll do it. Canva, I saw an ad the other day that said Canva can do this on videos, which is really freaking cool. But again, editing entire videos on Canva, probably not gonna happen. So just know that there are other options besides what I'm about to show you now, but this one, if you are editing like high quality videos, you're editing on Final Cut Pro, you're editing all the things, you are going to love this. And BT Dubs, this is not sponsored at all. Okay, first things first, you're going to go to motionvfx.com. Motion VFX, by the way, is an amazing source. Again, not sponsored at all, but I will put my link to share or to like try them out below. But amazing source for video editing stuff. Like I just, I think it's a really good source. And you can buy things from Motion VFX without being part of their membership. But in order to use this tool I'm about to show you, you do have to sign up for the membership. But holy banunu butts, I mean, I think it's worth it. Okay, so when you're on Motion VFX, what I want you to do is go to the little magnifying glass and we're gonna type in Roto AI, okay? And the name of this is M Roto AI. Okay. And then you can obviously start your 14 day trial and try it like with me for free right now. But once you do that, it will um, ask you what you want to install in inside of Final Cut Pro and it'll get it all installed for you. Okay. And this is so easy. Okay. We're just going to pull a small clip of me talking onto the timeline. Now you can absolutely manually do this by creating a mask on your video, drawing the mask around yourself, and then like um, going a few stops ahead to make sure the mask follows you and doing that for the whole time you want the effect to be behind you. And that'll create the same effect. However, it is way more time consuming and not as freaking accurate. The actual first step is to duplicate the clip and stack it on top of itself, okay? Now, if you're wanting to do other things with this um, feature with this thing, you may not want to duplicate the clip, but for what we're doing right now with like adding something behind me, but keeping the background in tact, you want to duplicate it because essentially what you're doing is you're keeping the original video at the bottom. So 
like I'm moving around, I've got the background behind me, all the things, but you're putting another video on top and you're basically just taking the background out and leaving yourself on top. So if you've ever done this in Canva or Photoshop, it's very similar, okay? So then you'll sandwich whatever you want to be behind you but in front of the background between the two clips, okay? All right, so we're gonna duplicate the clip and then on this top one, we're going to drag Roto AI over. It'll be in your effects panel under um, video. So we're gonna drag it and put it on the clip, okay? And then you get this little doomahickey here, like so powerful. Um, this little one with the little magical things <laughs> is a like automatic selector and automatic eraser, but you can also toggle to more manual. So if you hit, click this button here, this is like you actually painting the mask on. This will let it kind of use what you tell it to make its selection. I'll show you what I mean in a second. But so this is the uh, Roto AI like little panel and um, your precision, we can change the output in just a second because um, I do think that matters or it definitely will matter. But precision, smoothness, blur, invert mask, anti-alias, all of this stuff you can kind of play with. But the biggest thing, especially if I'm tracking me or a person, um, or something that is going to be in the frame for a while. And if it's not super accurate, we're gonna be able to notice it. I'm gonna change this to accurate. If it's something where it's like passing by, um, let's say like you're skateboarding across the screen and it's just like a two second clip and um, you want text to be behind you skateboarding, that you probably don't need it to be super accurate because it's gonna happen so fast that you don't need to like bog down your system for it to do that or take the time for it to do that. But me as a talking head, if it's not accurate, like my hands will move up and like something will be messed up. So we want it as accurate as possible. And then we literally y'all just tell it the, the broad idea of what we're trying to clip out here. So this is the like magical little guy, okay? Oh, and by the way, um, put your little cursor down here at the bottom to the very front of your clip before you do this and then do your little magical guy, okay? And I'm actually going to make sure that the first part of my clip is something where I'm facing the camera since I am going to be facing the camera most of the time. So I deleted that little clip where I was facing away. Okay. Little things at the front of my playhead. And then we've got this, we've got Roto AI, all the things. So now we tell it what we want it to track. So I want it to track me. Okay. So I'm going to move this tracker. I'm going to use this little automatic guy and you do not have to be super accurate. You just want to tell it the general consensus of what you're wanting to track. So I'm going to just kind of be like, I want the human involved here and just kind of like, okay, I want all of this. Here's my fingers. Here's my thumb, you know, that kind of thing. Um, oh, my sweatshirt probably should be included. So cool. And then I'm going to kind of like, you know, get it up in my hair to make sure my hair is included and all of that and watch what happens when I let go. Oh, it didn't do my face because I didn't put any little squiggles in my face because I wasn't paying attention. Okay, so now I'm like, no, 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 I definitely need my face. So I just use that same little tool and be like, no, 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 we got to we gotta include this, guys. Like, the face is the most important part. But also that blue girl, maybe blue hair would do well for me. Okay, so then I just kind of like fill in any areas where they didn't like include it and also erase any areas that did get included. So um, let me just like precisely get my hair here. Okay, so let's say in, in an earlier one that I did, my hand, it got part of the desk too. All you have to do is the eraser for the same thing. So if I said, oh, I don't want that piece of my hair, it's gonna like erase with an AI like brain and be like, oh, she doesn't want that right and so you just kind of get it exactly like you want it that's what i wanted to track then you click tracker and you click forward that's why i said you want it at the very beginning of your playhead clip if in the middle of the clip is when i wanted to start like putting text behind me then put it in the middle of your clip but for this i wanted to for the whole thing you just hit the forward button and it is going to analyze it like it's, watch, it's following me around. I can turn my head. I can look back to the camera. What? Like it is 
following me. If you do this manual, it is a pain in the ass if you're someone who talks in an animated way like me. I can't, this is so cool. Okay, so you let it do its thing. If you wanna stop it in the middle of it, you totally can, or obviously let it run all the way through. What I wanna do, because we want like me in the front with the background staying the same, and we wanna put some text here, I wanna change this merge to masked video. What that's gonna do is just isolate me. So if I turn off the background clip, you can see that like the top layer is just me. If I left it on merged, it's just gonna be this whole thing. If we do mask only, it's going to take me out. See, okay, masked video, that's what we want. We're gonna turn on this background clip, okay? Now you're gonna wanna add whatever you wanna add behind you in between the two layers. So I'm gonna go and find like a little um, video clip of fire and put that behind me. Okay, so I actually just went and downloaded like a sample file of fire um, to put behind me. So then all you're gonna do is drag it into your timeline and then drag it between the two clips. So now it's going to show this fire behind me. Okay, so then if I want there to be like text going behind me, you can use any text you already have, like any type of, you know, effects you already have in here or whatever, you can use those. Um, you can buy more obviously to do that, or you can obviously just add text. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna add some text here and just do like, um, let's see, test, 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 test. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna make it like I want it and make it big like that. And then I might even add like a little effect to the text. So um, let's see, I really like the handheld, I think is the name of, there it is. So I'm gonna add that. So this is what it would look like if it was on top of me, right? And then if I want to, I just move it between the clips, okay? So now, Oh my gosh, this has so much freaking potential. Like I'm so excited. I actually wanna get out and film some clips and like do this to the clips of some like artsy fartsy things. So I think we're gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna get out, I'm gonna film some clips. I'm gonna bring them in here. We're gonna do this to it. It's gonna be so much fun. And I can show you kind of what you might use this for. But for those of you who have been dying to be like, oh my gosh, Jessica, how do you do that? There you go. Yes, it does cost. Yes, you need to be using a more advanced editing system like Final Cut Pro and not iMovie or something like that. But again, there are options like Descript or Canva that can get you a similar result, just maybe not as great. But I am so pumped for this. Let's go play. I wish I would have brought my bigger lens. There's a ton of fishermen in the little creek here and I could get some really good footage of them. But even if I ask their permission right now, I can't get close enough to them with this lens. So, you know.